Hello, I'm Paul Finley for Lone Star School of Music, and today we're going to talk about soloing. Yeah, we're going to start this project, and so um, the whole thing that makes soloing work, this is going to be for a written solo, but still is what's called phrasing. You just don't play a scale kind of going up and then back down. There has to be little components of it that create musical sentences. And just like you have word structure, you have sentence structure, paragraphs, and voila, you get a story with enough paragraphs. So um, to begin with, we're going to be doing this in the key of E. And we're going to specifically be using the minor pentatonic scale. The minor pentatonic scale in the key of E starts at your 12th fret on the low E string. So I'm going to play through it here. There's always two notes every string. And that's ascending. Descending is just coming right back. So again, the key of E, that scale, by the way, is movable. So you can use that in the key of A. Again, the same pattern, starting at the fifth fret, and so on. So I'm going to play for you this solo to this rhythm track here, so you can hear what you're supposed to copy. Great. So that's the solo that you're going to copy. Real simple, just straightforward on all the notes. There's plenty of time between the notes. We're going to go through the nitty gritty here as far as where these notes are. Again, stay within that minor pentatonic scale. Once you have that scale memorized, that takes away all the guessing work as far as where all your notes could be because your, an your only answer is within that scale. So we're going to be here at the 12th fret, first string and then come up to the 15th fret, back to the 12th fret. Again, all in the first string. And then that phrase, again, that's a little musical idea, happens again. I just repeat it. Now the next series of phrases is similar to that. So it's evolving, but relates to the first. I hit the first note twice. And then the 15th fret twice. And again, I repeat that little section. And now it's time to move on. You know, you can get a little boring sounding if you're in the same place too much. So we come to the 12th, no, 15th fret on the second string. Again, that was the 15th fret on the second string, 12th fret on the second string. Now we're on the 14th fret on the third string. And then the last two notes. First fret, first finger, 12th fret on the third string. And then the 14th fret on the fourth string. Again, that descending phrase. And note the rhythm there. Bum, dum, 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 dum. All right, so here it is again to the rhythm track. Putting it all together. And do, please, pause this video, work on your parts, and then try it um, to that rhythm track, that this corresponding rhythm track video. This is so you can hear it. That other video is meant so that you can practice to it. All right, and away we roll. Two, three, four.
thank you very much. And so, good luck with that. And we're going to get more groovy on this mighty quick. My name is Paul Finley for Lone Star School of Music. And please uh, inquire to the school about getting on my schedule or any of the other teachers here for all the different instruments that are taught here at Lone Star School of Music. See the website at LoneStarSchoolOfMusic.com. And thank you so much. We'll hear from you again. Me again, actually. Mm.